Hello folks, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel where I barely scrape through projects and I want to help people scrape through theirs. All right, this um, video is going to be about retraction, how to fix stringing in your prints on something specific, the mono price mini delta. All right, in my settings, I use to fix stringing. So if you look in the left column, the red is the default, the middle is minimal stringing, and the last one is no stringing. All right, let me get that out of the way. So now I'm going to go ahead and just show you right now by going through these different settings. Not much changes if you go on fine, fast, or what have you. If you just go through the different settings, not much changes in regards to like the retraction settings and stuff. It all stays the same. So go into your setting visibility and type in retraction. And all the check marks I have checked there makes you check all those check marks so they show up over to the right. All right. Because we're going to be doing some adjustments in those. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and just click these and get them side by side so you can see. But again, like I said earlier, earlier the red is default. The yellow is minimal stringing. If you're afraid to make any monstrous changes, you know, afraid to take that leap, then you can do minimal stringing. But if you don't want any stringing, Go to my settings. Trust me and trust me on this one. We can get it done. All right. So you just go through. I'm doing the no stringing settings and go through and just key in all the non stringing settings like I'm doing now. Type in the exact settings that I'm typing in right now. And I have the one highlighted in orange because it's going to want how you type it down here. It's going to go to orange and it's going to tell you. So make sure um, you enable retraction. We're going to go through change distance retraction speed and boom so that turn orange it's almost like saying like don't do that you don't want to do this don't listen to it it makes a difference um and then the minimal travel make sure we go ahead and change that and just keep on making our way down So these aren't necessarily in order the way we're going down. I, I didn't type them in order of the menu you see, but they're labeled correctly. So go by the labels. That's what's most important. The labels they are labeled correctly. So right here, if you see where it says print um, speed and travel speed, highlight it over it. No matter what you change it to, I believe anything besides the 120 default settings, it essentially says like it's wrong and it's arbitrary and yada yada blah 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 blah. Um, so no matter what you change it to, I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna go through a bunch of different ones, unless you go to a major extreme, then it'll go red. But Anything even close to the 120, you can do 119, 121. I'll just show you. Just check it. I'm going to change all this stuff, and you're going to just see. It's going to keep that same little warning right there, that same little exclamation point. Essentially saying don't change it until it turns like uh, unless you're really hot and it goes red. But other than that, exclamation point stays there for everything except for the default setting, which is 120. Ignore that and change it. Trust me. If you don't want that stringing, change it. The mono price can handle it. And all the other settings just say the same. And I'm gonna show you like it's not gonna block you from saving it to um, a drive or anything. This is just a random file. I'm not about to print this, but I just want to show you that it's gonna slice and look at the time right there, 58 minutes. By changing the speed, you add roughly about 20 minutes onto the print time. Um, depending on how large the build is, it, it adds a, it, shoot, it almost doubles the time, but you don't have stringing. And the only time you really need to change these settings, if you're going to have some, a print that's going to have gaps, is going to leave the stringing. And if you don't want to add like a massive amount of time and you're fine with just minimal sh um, stringing, it's the center settings. That's why I gave you guys one that had minimal stringing where... I'll show you some examples in a second of what I mean by minimal stringing, where you can a lot of string you can kind of just deal with and kind of just cut off or slice off 
if you don't want to add an extreme amount of time to your prints because this does add time to your prints just to let you guys know if you can see the, the, the see the difference in time all right so now i want to just go ahead and move right on to these babies these are pictures i took of all the test prints i did with different settings so this is all i'm hanging out together the entire family Look at that, beautiful. But that's the back one right there. Now, you see a few little fibers on the one way in the back, but, I mean, that's going to happen. But there's no stringing. See, this is, this is like with the default settings right there. This one was, um, I changed all the settings that I have there, except I kept the infill at 20% and it gave me, still gave me a lot of little hairs and stuff. This one was the default setting just with a different PLA. Um, and this one is what I mean by minimal stringing. There's not as much like how it starts way at the base on this one. And I just canceled that one because I knew it was going to be just terrible. Um, and this right here, look all that stringing, how much more that is on the default settings. Same thing here. It starts off real thick with real bad um, stringing. The, and these, all the ones are really bad stringing. Are the ones all I did was adjust the attraction in different settings to try to see if I can fix a lot of it. But once I started digging into like infill and stuff like that, that fixed a lot of a lot of the um, problems. Like the infill and the speed really killed a lot of what you're seeing right here. It really fixed a lot of it. Um, this one actually broke off, get off the bed. But this was the one that I had no stringing with. I'm going to zoom in closer. You guys can see it. There was a couple of fibers, but it was nothing like clinging the legs together or anything. I actually noticed a little fibers until I took the picture of it with the flash. Like, oh, it's still a little bit. Fire. But for me, that's success. There's no, that's not stringing. Nothing's like clinging together or anything. And this is what the settings I showed you guys when I cranked everything up to 80 and, and um, all that good stuff. And the infill is a big part of it, too, because um, turning the infill on 20 um really um impacted it. It's, it still had like a lot of fibers and stuff on it. And that was the print I showed you previously. That's um the one in the front all the way to the left, the purple one all the way to the left. That one right there is the one that I didn't change the infill on. It's the, the purple one all the way to the left. That's just the family again right there. All right, folks. I put all the key information right at the beginning because I did not want to make you guys watch an entire video watching and go through all the um, sped up prints and all that good stuff. All the, the what do you call it again? Time lapse videos. So if you like this video, and you want to see more like this, please put it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe because it does help so much. And if you guys want to watch all the time lapse, I will continue the video with the time lapse. If that's the kind of thing you guys enjoy, I'm going to go ahead and crank on some music and you guys can watch the rest of the video. As always, folks, thanks for watching and have a great day.